Today in Growth Shares, let's analyze and see whether Duke Energy is a great long-term investment. The company analysis is divided into three broad factors, the business, the stock, and the price. Furthermore, these three factors are subdivided into 14 metrics that give us the complete picture of the company. Each factor and each metric are given different weight, together adding up to 100% of the overall analysis. Each factor and each metric are then given a grade from 1 to 100, with 1 being a failed investment and 100 being extraordinary. When everything is put together, a final grade will be given, also from 1 to 100. Most companies that I'll analyze in this channel will hover around a grade of 50. Companies with a final grade of 81 or higher will be included in my Great Investments playlist. Let's first look at the company as a business. The business is the most important part of this analysis. That's why 45% of this analysis is attributed to the business. As Warren Buffett once said, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. A stock cannot grow and prosper without having a rock-solid foundation. The business factor is made up of eight metrics. Basically, these four metrics measure how well the company is doing right now. These two metrics measure how well the business is projected to do in the future. And these two metrics measure the socioeconomic impact of the business. In the description below, I have a separate video describing each metric in detail. Based on this grade, I would consider this an average business. This means, as a business, it's no different than half of all the businesses out there. Everything else going forward would need to be good in order to make this an attractive investment. Next, let's look at the company's stock. We can't easily invest in something unless there's shares available to buy and sell. That's why 35% of this analysis is attributed to the stock. If the business is the foundation of a company, the stock is a reflection of that foundation. Does the market reflect how good or bad the business has done? And how does the market think the company will do going forward? That's what the stock tells us. What matters most is return on investment. There should be some correlation between the business and its stock. The stock factor is made up of five metrics. Basically, these three metrics measure how well the company's stock has done, and these two metrics measure how traders and investors perceive the company as an investment. In the description below, I have a separate video describing each metric in detail. Based on this grade, I would consider this an above average stock. Combine that with an average or better business, this should be a company on your watch list to see if further improvement can be made. Finally, let's look at the company's price. Price is what most investors look at when deciding whether to invest in a company or not. But price per share shouldn't be the most important consideration. That's why 20% of this analysis is attributed to the company's intrinsic value. There is a reason why a company's stock is undervalued or overvalued. An undervalued stock may be undervalued because it's simply a terrible business. And the other side is true as well. The price factor is made up of only one metric. Basically, the intrinsic value is the price per share at which the company's fundamentals align with its true value when compared to its current stock price. Based on this grade, I would consider the price to be slightly overvalued. If you're looking solely at the price per share, I'd monitor and wait to see if the price drops before it becomes attractive. Based on this final grade, I would consider this company calculated, an average investment. Let's figure out the company's if you're a long -term grade, investor, you'll get average returns if you invest in this company right now. Some of you will put different importance on different aspects of my analysis. You may solely just be looking at the price per share. Others may look at the business. But if you're looking at this company as a long-term investment, you should look at all three factors because it paints the entire picture of the company. When it comes to the final grade, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm bullish or bearish on the company's stock. Grades are adjusted to take into account the company's industry, sector, and competition. Of course, major news does have an effect on the company. But my analysis is built upon a solid foundation that focuses on the long-term health of the company. From time to time, I will reanalyze a company and share it with you. So you've made it this far, shoot me an email. I'd love to get in touch with you and talk more. What company should I analyze next? And do you agree with this company's final grade? If you want me to analyze more companies, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with other investors. And as always, take care of your money.